What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and today we're looking at the top five icons. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, settle down. I said icons. I meant to say affordable icons. So we're looking at guys that are 500,000 to 600,000 or less. Most of us, if you've been grinding the game or if you put a little money into the title, you can probably afford to pick up one, maybe even two of these guys without too much trouble. They could be introduced to your starting 11. Even if you're a classic Road to Glory player, you put nothing into the game. If you've played a lot of FIFA, you got some rewards, maybe a little bit of pack luck. If you've really grinded, decent at trading, you can introduce these men to your starting 11. That's the point I'm making. If you appreciate the content, make sure to drop some love and appreciation. I'm happy to have you here. Welcome back. I'm gonna give you a top five in this video, so in the comments, I wanna hear your top five. They don't necessarily need to be in order, but the five icons that you would choose to pick up in this price range. Also, if any of you lovely people have ideas for our future top five videos, put those in the comments. If I use your idea, number one, I'm screenshotting it, it's going into the next video. Number two, I gotta give away something. Whether that's FIFA points, whether we got some special shirts, we got jerseys, something's gotta go out to you. You're hooking it up, I appreciate you. But those comments, they're open for discussion, interpretation, all of the above. If you know me well, I like a few honorable mentions. And that's where we're gonna begin, with Baby Blanc or the middle version of Blanc, whether you want a center back or you want a center mid. The Baby Blanc card looks so good statistically and he's always had mixed reviews. And I kind of fall on the, eh, the iffy end for that card. However, his center back variation, whether you can get the middle or of course his prime or his prime plus, then life will be just fine. And when this video is being recorded, the baby is about 550,000 and the middle version of Blanc is around 600,000. Next honorable mention, we've got Crespo. I realize he's not the greatest passer. Depends where you're playing him, but he could definitely hold up the play and get in behind. He wins, balls in the air. It's a pretty complete striker, outside of not necessarily being someone who's gonna hook up the rest of the team in terms of a bunch of assists, at least not if you need intricate passes or crosses. But other than that, you're good to go, and he's not very expensive. The baby's at 350K, the middle's at 400K. Very reasonable. Get those links. And last but not least, when we're looking at the honorable mentions, I've got Baby Henri, who's about 390,000 coins. And I actually feel that a lot of these players are even gonna go a little bit lower, even though under 400K for any variation of Henri sounds pretty spectacular. And you do get what you pay for. This Henri is not gonna be as good as the middle or the prime, and his price tag also supports that. He just doesn't have the physical stats that deliver at that next level when you're looking at stamina, even strength. He doesn't feel nearly as strong as the other variations of Henri, but if you haven't used a lot of icons, you'd still like to have them on your team. And with this title rewarding crosses, especially those lob crosses towards the back post or corner kicks, it's always a bonus to have tall attacking personnel, whether it's on the wings, to the middle of the pitch. It's always gonna be a good look as long as they're not gonna start losing a bunch of balance and getting awkward with their feet. You get the idea. At number five, we've got Prime Cannavaro. And before you get on my case about his size, have you used him? Have you appreciated him? Have you really got everything out of this guy? Cannavaro is special in terms of how he moves side to side, a lot of the consistency in the tackles. Of course, if he gets stuck on the raw end of crossing, ah, it might be a bit of an issue or set pieces, ah. There's definitely better suited center backs, but for someone who's gonna cost you about 615, 620,000 coins, pretty good pickup. I definitely recommend him. And for me personally, I defend the crosser more than I defend the cross. So I don't run into many liability issues with Cannavar. Number four, and the only player that's starting to come in a little bit above the budget, at least on the PlayStation, we have Prime Sadorv. I just think it's a good pickup, it's a good deal. If you can get Prime cards in this price range, as long as they're Prime cards that we see being used and abused, don't assume any version of Inzaghi is gonna make a, a vital difference in terms of your results through the Weekend League, qualifiers, division rivals. Leave him alone. But Prime Sadorf, looking at about 640 to 650,000 coins, at least on the PlayStation. I still think it's a good investment. I think he's someone that you're gonna appreciate. He can play multiple positions well, whether you need a holding mid. And he partners well with another holding mid if you're playing a 4-2-3-1. 
He's going to be better going forward. He has the skill moves. If you are looking for more of a box to box, you play a 4 1 2 1 2. Seydorf is a prime candidate. You could get away with playing him as a cam, but it just depends what kind of personnel you have around Seydorf. You might have a better cam or a player that's not as diverse as Seydorf. Therefore, you move Seydorf to a center mid and you play whoever your more one dimensional classic number 10 as that center attacking mid and you let him do his job. Try to let him feed the triangle of doom if it's a 4-3-1-2 or 4-1-2-1-2, or if it's a 4-2-3-1, just give him some space to create. Give him a little room to work with. Home improvement. Number three, Rio Ferdinand. Ah, oh, every variation of this card is excellente. Ah, oh, it's just special. I'm still using the baby Rio right now and I'm happy about it. He intercepts, he climbs, he's fast, he recovers, he blocks, he can facilitate. I have really no complaints. I just believe that Rio Ferdinand's card is a beast. Last couple FIFAs, it's been a monster, been a difference maker, been impactful. This FIFA is no different, and you can get his baby or his middle. They both are going to be under 600k. I think they're pretty close in price, maybe 450 to 500 depending which version you go with, whatever you have in the bankroll. As you could tell from my voice and a little bit of excitement, I obviously rate Rio Ferdinand. You won't be disappointed. Number two, we have Prime Cliver. And normally he wouldn't be in this position, at least not for yours truly. However, because this game is so much about the wings and whipping in crosses, I've been really impressed with this card. He climbs, oh, every ladder is his best friend. Extremely physical, wonderful finisher, both feet, has the skill moves. Still gonna be a little clunky depending what you're used to for a winger if you're playing him out wide. If you play him up top, I don't think you're gonna necessarily have that type of liability. And his passing improves dramatically with his prime variation. And I can co-sign that because I've used his baby card and the difference, uh, it was noticeable to say the least. Back post cross receiver specialist. That was a lot of words to describe that he's gonna win headers on the back post, but you get the idea. I feel that his prime card fits the meta pretty well. For me personally, I will use the prime Cliver as a winger if that gives you any help for building your squads or putting together a team. And at number one, it's my bread and butter. Nedved's baby card, his middle, his prime, whatever you can afford, buy him. His middle and his baby are both gonna come in in the correct price range. I still use his baby now, love him. He's got golden touches, just feels classy, almost has a sense of being effortless. You need a whip in crosses? Cool, not an issue, both feet, skill moves. He's just very crisp, very clean. He gets in behind well, he just has Solid attacking and intelligence, which sounds funny saying for a virtual game, but I've sold this card and rebought this card on um, numerous occasions this year because I think, oh, I'm gonna make an upgrade and then I, I wanna use Nedved again. And that just seems to be a reoccurring theme. I've made that circle over and over again and I highly recommend Nedved. If you have not given him a shot, try him out. His baby version, which is a beast, is only gonna run you 350, 360,000 coins. When you're looking at icons, that's considered cheap not even affordable. And his middle version is around 500K or so, give or take. If you're buying on a Monday, their prices are definitely gonna dip. If you're buying on a Thursday or a Friday, prepping for the weekend league, maybe a qualifier, they can go back up a tad bit. Maybe there's SBCs. We never know what EA is gonna release because there's been so many releases of different players and different cards this year. That's a wrap. Remember to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm happy to have you. It's free to subscribe and I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.